please stop the hate. Stop the hate. Stop the hate. Stop the hate. Please, let's stop the hate. I am an Asian American. I am Japanese American. I am an Asian American. I'm an Asian American. I'm a Korean American. I am a child of immigrants. I am an American. These are our stories. A few years ago, I got to play Ariel in the national tour of Disney's The Little Mermaid, and it was an actual dream come true moment for me. Unfortunately, my casting was also met with a lot of discrimination because of the fact that I am not white. The very first comment that was posted online with my casting announcement were along the lines of, I am so disappointed. Since when is Ariel Asian? I was so excited to see this, I will not be seeing this anymore. Hashtag keep it classic. It was really hard to push through, but really at the end of the day, it was the Asian American community and most of the audiences who lifted me back up and helped me find my true voice and my power and my inner strength and help me stand up against racism and to tell people I can be anybody I want to be, and so can you. I have experienced many microaggressions. I have been bullied, harassed, tokenized, fetishized, and discriminated against because of my heritage, the color of my skin, my sexuality, and my general appearance. But hey, I'm still here. So a couple friends and I went to Zion National Park because we wanted to hike, and we were looking for some parking. We approached a parking attendant and she had been approaching every car to give instructions on where to go and she wouldn't come close to our car. And so we asked her to come close because we couldn't hear her and she, nor she, could she hear us. And she told us that she refused to come close because she didn't want to catch COVID. I was born in Korea, uh, came to the States when I was eight years old. I remember one of the first times my brother and I before we were given American names, or maybe right around then, just being simply asked by the neighborhood kids what our names were, because that's what you do when new kids move into the neighborhood. I sort of understood what name meant. So I told them my Korean name, Won Jong Hun. And, you know, it was a mixed group of kids, um, even some other Asian American kids, but they didn't know what that meant. So, and I repeated it a few times. And I just remember feeling so, I don't know, so, so invisible that. The name that was given to me by my family and that I had gone by didn't even resonate. I've grown up with different feelings about my identity in the United States. Um, feeling othered, feeling like I don't belong. And it's been a tough journey. It's been a lot of self-reflection and support from other people who also feel the same way. And throughout all of that, I've learned how to better myself and how to better care for myself, how to stand up for myself and support others and how to just embrace who I am, what I am, be proud of where I came from and to be a support for others who might feel the same way. Let's stand up against hate and discrimination. Make sure you speak up. Raise your voice. If you're watching this video, whether it be on your cell phone or on your computer, you have access to technology. So maybe not your physical voice, but use your platforms, use your resources to continue to advocate for people like us, like our parents, like our grandparents. Please stop the hate and let's continue to, to start Asian love, to spread Asian joy, uplift Asian arts, protect our communities, support Asian businesses, celebrate Asian accomplishments. East West Players has sought to challenge the stereotypical narrative of what it is to be Asian and Asian American for over 56 years. Hear us. Listen to our stories. For more information and ways to get involved in our community, please go to eastwestplayers.org.